Hey, 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 what's going on? What is going on, everyone? Make sure I can talk. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Okay. I had to make sure I was live. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Come on in and have a chat with me real quick. I won't be before you all very, very long on this Sunday evening. Um, but as I said, I'm really trying to, not really trying to, I just am. Sometimes you just have to be like Nike and just do it. So my commitment to myself is that I'm going to get on here every day. Won't give a set time, but I'll get on here every day and do some sort of it live and just talk about, you know, my business, what's going on and different things like that. For those who need to hear it, will hear it. Those who don't need to hear it, won't hear it. But um, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. I know tomorrow is Monday and it's the start of a new week for a lot of you guys. And a lot of you guys are dreading it and moaning and complaining and like, oh God, it's Monday. And trust me when I say I used to be in that number. I was one of those people that was complaining every Monday because it was Monday and I had to go through the whole week. And work that J-O-B, right? So I definitely understand where you are coming from. But one thing I was really realizing is that as much as I used to be one of those TGIF people and look forward to the weekend so I can just collapse, that's not the case for me anymore. And also for many of my business partners, because every day is TGIF. And if you really think about it, what were some of the things that we was looking forward to on Fridays? Friday was the last day of the work week for us. And Friday for most of us was also payday. Also, Friday was the day where we were able to just relax and, and hang out and do whatever it was that we wanted to do without having to worry about getting up, clocking in, driving to work and doing all those things, right? Well, one thing that I love about this here Common Sense Theory $100 a day system is that I don't have to do that. Every day is Friday. Every day is payday. Every day is a day where I don't I can go and hang out if I want to. I don't have to get dressed and clock in and go to the job, okay? Every day is Friday. And I absolutely love that about this movement because, you know, I used to say, and I said it before, and I'll continue to say it, there is more to life than paying bills and dying. There's more to life than paying bills and dying. And if you're anything like me who is above mediocre, if you are anything like me who, who, who considers himself above mediocre, then you know that there's more for you than just getting up and going to work. You know there's more for you, okay? Save that for people who don't, who consider themselves to be mediocre. And, you know, I always felt like there was more for me internally, but I never did anything externally to change that, okay? I never did anything to change that outlook on my life. However, I knew that I was incredible. I knew that I was extraordinary, and I knew that I was above average, but I didn't know how to step out on faith and operate and tap into that incredibleness. But now that I am doing that, I've absolutely come to a point where I am so grateful and at peace and just really in a place in my life where I only can give God glory and praise because every day is TGIF. And I think about how I used to feel on Fridays. Even though I got paid, I was still broke. Even though I got paid, I was still broke. I was looking forward to getting that paycheck, paycheck just so I can get broke again. And if you want to keep it real, real, then some of you understand that even before you got the paycheck, you was broke. You already knew it was gone. And so you had to make the decision who you was going to pay this week and who you was going to make wait till next week. You already know what I'm talking about. Come on now, let's keep it real. I used to be that person Okay, so let me see how much of an extension I can get this Friday. And on the next pay period, I'll go ahead and pay them. I'll pay Paul next week. But this week, I'm going to pay Peter. Okay, 
But then when them two weeks go by or weekly, whatever job you work at, some people get paid weekly, some people get paid bi-weekly. And then when that next check come around, now Peter like, hello, you owe me money. You borrowed from me, but now you got to pay up. But then you like, well, hold up though, because I told Paul I was going to pay them this week. So I can't pay you this week. So I'm going to have to wait. Now I got to pay Paul and I'm going to have to push you off to the next week. And, and that was my life. That was my TGIF. And so I guess in a lot of ways is what I'm saying is, you know, thank God it's Friday. But to me now, TGIF is thank God I'm free. That's what TGIF means for me. And TGIF, thank God I'm free, is every day for me. It's every day. Because I felt like I was in bondage when I was working. And again, I'm not taking anything from anyone who has to still work a J-O-B. But when I donated my job back to the economy, I was like, I'm, I'm not doing that no more. I made a decision. I made a decision. I don't want to do it. I don't have to do it. And by any means necessary legally, I was not going to work no J-O-B anymore. For real. Like, I just knew that I was supposed to do more than that. And for some people, that's that's their life, and that's what they do, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for those of us who have that entrepreneurial drive inside of us, for those of us who have that hustle inside of us, for those of us who have that spirit inside of us that can't nobody tie me down and tell me when I can come and when I cannot and how, I, and how long I got to work and how this and how that and how that, I need to do something that is determined by my own effort. I want to do something that if I want to get up at 11 o'clock in, in, in the morning time and, and stay up till 3 o'clock in, in the morning time, I can do that and still make money. If I want to get up at 6 a.m. and go to bed at 8 p.m., I can do that and still make money. And that's the thing about TGIF. We have to go from the point where we're saying, thank God it's Friday. And that's the only day we look forward to, to thank God I'm free. And that's what we're doing over here in the Common Sense Theory. We are free. We are experiencing financial success, okay? You don't want to really say financial freedom, but we are experiencing financial success. Financial success because we all make money in some form or facet. But are you a slave to your money or is money a slave to you? And the beautiful thing about the common sense theory movement is that we don't just show you how to make an extra $3,000 a month. What is that a year? Like, really, what is that a year? I think an extra $3,000 a month is like $36,000. Let me see. For all you math scholars out there that's watching, what is that a year? $3,000 a month, I'm pretty sure, is $36,000. Yeah, that's $36,000 a year. So when you sit here and you say 3000 a month, that ain't nothing. $36,000 a year ain't nothing. What are you making yearly on your job? So if we're telling you just by simply following a three-step system, you can literally change the course of your life. Now, here's the thing, and this is something I've come to realize, and this is something that maybe you come to realize, too. Some people just want to be broke. I'm serious. That sounds crazy, right? But some people just want to be able to stay in that in that realm so they can keep collecting that, that government assistance. I don't know about you, but I want to move past that. Now, I admit on the time period that I had it, it was helpful to me and my family because being a single mother with five children, we needed it, okay? But when I got to the point... For me, it was like I was waiting for that door to open. I was waiting to escape because I got tired of people asking me this, asking me that, asking me this, asking me that. Dang, you got to ask me all them questions to give me some Medicaid? You got to ask me all them questions to give me some food? <laughs> like, for real? And it used to make me so angry because I'm like, and then, and then to deal with some of the demeanors of some of the people that you had to deal with, they act like they was taking it out their own doggone paycheck. Like, do you hate your job that much that you got to treat me like I'm nothing? And that's the type of people I dealt with. That's the type of workers that I had. 
And I remember saying, I cannot wait till I don't need this anymore. I cannot wait till I don't require this to have to budget that into surviving. I cannot wait for that. But some people balance the scale so low that they don't even have dreams of rising above that. And one thing I want to challenge you on today, when you talk about thank God it's Friday, I want you to really think about what that means for you and your future. Because for people who have children, there's nothing wrong with them working jobs, but you also want to be able to instill in them entrepreneurship. You want to instill in them that it is okay to be your own boss. You want to instill in them that it is okay for them to pay themselves legally. It's okay. And I think a lot of times so many people are scared because we were indoctrinated to get up and go to work and pay our bills and repeat it again day after day after day after day, struggle, and then until God calls us home and we don't leave nothing but some bills behind. What if, what if, bear with me now, what if you take that $36,000 a year that you would make in the common sense, and that's minimum, mind you, that's scraping the minimum. What if you take that $36,000 a year that you make in the common sense theory system, just following three simple steps, you invest it $79.95, okay, I think it's like $5 shipping, 85 85 so you invested that. You was going to spend that on a new wig. Okay, so you invest that into yourself because you're worth it, okay? And you say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this and make this money circulate for me because what I was going to spend it on, it wasn't going to circulate. It wasn't going to give me any return. If anything, it was going to give me a bunch of regret. So instead of me doing something and depositing my money into something that was going to give me some regret, how about I do something different and not think mediocre and think excellent and let me go ahead and invest that money because if I think about it, I'm be making an extra $36,000 a year. I know I want to pay off this car. I know I want to fix my credit. Um, I know that I want to put a down payment on a house. So how about I go ahead and I continue to work this job because, you know, she's not telling me to quit my job, but I continue to work this job and I take this money that I'm making over here with the common sense theory and I go ahead and start taking care of things that I've been meaning to take care of. But because I'm working this J-O-B, I'm not going to be able to afford to do it unless it's tax time and it's tax time right now. But I know that typically I try to cover some large bills and get myself out the hole. So by the time I get myself out the hole, I'm going to take my kids to a couple of nice restaurants or some things they want to do, get everybody a pair of shoes, get me some good weed and maybe a couple handbags. I really can't do anything like Louis Vuitton or anything like that. So I'm going to have to do something like maybe Michael Kors or, you know, Colts or something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. But then after that, I'm sitting here broke and I still have bad credit. I still owe everything on my on my um, on my uh, car loan. I still don't have a down payment for my house. So I still am stuck in the same situation. And now I'm going to wait till next year's tax return to try to get out of it. But I know that I'm going to still be making the same amount of money throughout the year of 2021. So I'm not going to really have anything change. So you really have to start thinking, not from a poverty mindset, but you have to start thinking from a success mindset. What would the millionaire do? The millionaire would actually go ahead and invest the money into starting their own business and take the profit from the money that they use to start their own business and use it to fix their credit, get out of debt, do some little things they've been meaning to do. And therefore, now they're actually able to experience what TGIF is supposed to mean. Thank God I'm free. I'm no longer in bondage. I'm no longer in chains. I'm actually on a clean slate now. Instead of me always trying to fight to stay above water 
instead of me always trying to find a way to make the J-O-B work for me. I'm here to tell you that that is the definition of insanity, okay? You cannot expect to keep doing the same thing and getting a different result. It's not going to happen that way. So what I challenge you to do is stop being insane and start getting, start, if you want to be crazy, let me put it this way. If you want to be crazy, be crazy enough to invest in yourself because you're worth it. Start your own business. Make the $100 a day, which is $3,000 a month, which is $36,000 a year. Take that money. Buy yourself a house. Put a down payment on your new business. Uh, I don't know what you want to do because you're not able to do it with your job. Because year after year after year after year after year after year after year, you're in the same income bracket. It's time to start experiencing growth. It's time to stop being an expert at struggling. I was an expert at struggling. It's time to stop being an expert at struggling and start experiencing growth. In order for you to experience growth, you have to, A, you have to change your mindset, and B, you have to be willing to open up your hands and give so that you can receive. And until you are ready to do that, you're going to continue to experience the lack that you know you don't want. But here's the kicker. The things that we say that we don't want, but our actions don't align with what we say we don't want, maybe we want it after all. So I challenge you on today, what do you really want? Put what you really want in line with your actions and go after it. The common sense theory can help you to do just that. So I ask you right now today, what could an extra $36,000 $36,000 a year do for your life. If you're anything like me and the rest of us, it can remodel homes, it can buy cars, it can pay off tuitions, it can get new furniture for your house, it can get you a pool in your backyard, it can change the, the your whole entire kitchen, it can get your kids a whole new bedroom outfit, It can pay off some bills. It can fix your credit. It can be a down payment on a new house. It can help you to travel overseas. It can do all kinds of things for heck. It can even get you a butt lift if you want one, okay? Whatever you want, it can happen for you. So I challenge you on today. Think about it. That money that you're going to spend anyway, use it and invest it in yourself because you're worth it. Talk to y'all later.